Greetings and welcome! Recently I revisited an old idea which I tried to realize about 11 years ago. Back then my goal was to create a huge SC car by reconstruct my old pedal tractor from childhood days. To make it short I wasn't capable to do so. Now in the present I simply want to accomplish just that, a huge SC car. Just for that project I bought myself the used pedal kit's toy lorry, paid 95 euros cash. Well, I don't know, since some time I have that fantasy of buying me that lorry with a loading crane in real, but don't have that pocket money yet. So as a compromise, that thing has to do it. Isn't it magnificent? Truly a beast, coming around to the driver's position. A lever beneath the seat, which is a handbrake for the rear wheels. But the most brilliant feature is that two-speed gearbox. A snail? and a rubber gear to choose from. That's so cool! Economic steering wheel, the dash, light switches and mm, no radio. On top blue light, turns blue. I guess those adjustable crank bearing brackets are for tightening the drive chain inside the housing. Well, even if I'm slightly way too large for the thing, I couldn't resist about driving it myself. Well, before pedaling to the metal, you have to put it in gear first. After that, it did go off like a rocket. I know, I'm too old for that crap. You didn't saw nothing. I'm okay. You didn't saw anything. Alright, driving it myself is out of question. What else? Make it remote control then. Therefore I need a motor, already know where to take that from. My old trended fully tracked bicycle tank, which is completely obsolete since 2023. That thing only used to be a research project. I proved for myself that it's possible to build it. I mean I won't destroy it, just taking out the motor, that's all. But before I will do this, I want to ride it one last time with electric propulsion. Yep, still drives. That motor should be just fine. So let's prepare that kid's toy for the motor to come in. But first let's have a detailed look under the skirt already. The front axle is even a swing axle. Oh, I'm impressed. Those off-road capabilities must be insane. Let's continue with the gearbox. Always used to be curious about that thing. Finally I can reveal its secret. Two single speed bicycle chains next to each other, running on full plastic sprockets. One chain for low and the other for the high gear ratio. That little sliding gear in the center will interlock with one of those two and thus creates a solid flow of energy from the pedals to one single driven back wheel. Truly a remarkable system have to copy it one day into one of my bicycle vehicles as well. Enough crap chat, let's punch that keyboard. Yeah, although I bought both back wheels driven, its off-road capabilities are quite limited. I guess full plastic wheels are just top notch. I know, right? Driving all over the place. I guess I have to master that multitasking skill first. One hand on the controller while filming with the other one.
terribly overgrown field path ahead of me. Let's see how well that thing will handle it. We had to push it in some places in order to make it. Yeah, that complete joyride is without a reverse gear installed. Just in the end of that video I will show the recent upgrade with the fixed reverse issue. I made the hood functional. Inside the 48 volt e-bike battery is located. Inside the driver's cab there's all that control technology installed. That's the DC-DC converter which creates 12 volt for the steering servo motor. The maximum torque that thing can deliver with 12 volt is about 90 kilo. Because of its strength it's very slow compared to a normal FC servo. But it's still okay for driving. I mean I'm not that fast. Next in line there's that DC-DC converter which creates those 5 volt for the receiver. And I also use that voltage for the blue light on top of the roof. And here's that beautiful sheep speed controller. Only a servo motor strapped to the original e-bike throttle lever. Yeah, I had to modify the remote control as well. Simply added a return spring for the throttle lever. Because just the original mod with the return spring for the center position would have been not enough servo movement. What else? Well, a fuse box for all three consumers of the 48 volt battery. The both voltage converter as well the drive motor controller. The motor controller is mounted beneath to the side where it will also get some cooling air while driving. I hope that's it. I bolted so that both back wheels are driven. As if the diff is welded. Well, there was never a diff to begin with, but yeah, it works great. Sadly, the overall ground clearance isn't that great. Also, I wasn't capable to make the drive system flawless. The sprockets are wobble around a tiny bit. Also, both little sprockets are slightly out of line, so the chain runs slightly crooked. Nevertheless, it runs. Well, I was forced to build it like that. Otherwise, there would have been even less ground clearance. For that special double chain sprocket pulley, I took one of these. It comes from the timing belt running system of a modern car. Just welded two bicycle sprockets to its both sides. With special crony welding rods. When I was welding I had to be careful about its temperature. I didn't want to destroy the bearing. So a lot of cooling with water was included. The right in total is about 34 kilo. With those it will create yeah. quite some kinetic energy. So watch out, because there are also no brakes. After all that work, it's so pleasing to see it running. Those little wheels carving through the sand like it's unstoppable. Wait, what? Man, what's the matter? Oh, just a stick. Looks like an old ancient bomb crater next to the road. But I guess it's the best if I just skip that. Don't want to break it already on its first test drive while driving in there. Man, summer is just great. It's quite late already and the sun is still up.
just like that I returned home, safe and sound, nothing broke. In total I covered a distance of about 5.3 km. The battery of the remote control lasted and there's still some juice left in the e-bike battery as well. Perfect. Finally received that RC relay. Some days ago and installed it. Now I can easily reverse with a press on the button. Also I learned red grass is just perfect for doing some donuts. donuts. Thank <laughs> you.